Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, we're going to talk about Mail Merge in Google Sheets. Mail Merge has been quite a well-known and frequently used feature in Microsoft packages like Excel and Word. But in Google Sheets, it's not yet available by default. I say yet because who knows, it might get added sometime in the future. But until then, you'll have to find a workaround. And that's what I'm here for. So before we move on to how to mail merge, I should probably explain what mail merge means, right? I mean, if you're new to the concept. Well, mail merge is a tool used to create customized letters in bulk. For example, see, this is a generic letter that you can send to just about anyone. You can just get a list of email addresses and send the same letter to everyone on the list. But you see, the letter lacks any personal touch. You don't address the person by name. You don't have anything to make the recipient feel special. Plus, what if each of your recipients has different information to be inserted into each email? For example, what if you have to send out order invoice emails for informing the recipient that you received their orders for, say, a particular book and that they'll receive it on a particular date? You'll need to then include the name of the book, the price, etc. also, right? And if you have to send the same invoice to say a hundred people, do you really want to spend time manually entering the book names and prices in each letter? Well, you don't have to. That's where mail merge comes in super handy. So with mail merge, you can have all your recipients specific information in a spreadsheet like this and an email or document template that looks like this. The template will have placeholders for where you want the specific information inserted, like this, this, all right? So for example, you want the first name to go here. So the mail merge system will take the first names from this column and insert the first name over here for five separate emails. I say five separate emails because this spreadsheet has five rows of records for five different recipients. Similarly, it will take the corresponding award name and enter it here for each person, award name, and so on. Notice that I've specified all my placeholders in double curly brackets, like this, this, this one here, this one here. This is mainly to differentiate the placeholders from the rest of the text. So now that we have our email template and our spreadsheet ready, let's see how we can mail merge them. So with Google Sheets, there are three ways to mail merge. You can use an app script, you can use an add-on, and if you're using Google Chrome, then you can use a Chrome browser extension. Let's look at the first way, that is using a script. Now don't worry, you don't need to know how to code for this. There are some nice people out there who've already prepared the script and made it available. And I'm making it available for you in the description. Credits for the script go to Google developer expert Martin Hoxie. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. This is the file. Simply make a copy of it. And you'll have the code come with it. If you go to Extensions, App Script, you can see the script here. It even has comments in all the appropriate places to help you understand the code and functions used. Now here's the spreadsheet with the data, but you can edit this according to the data that you want for your mail merge. So you can add new columns, remove some of them, and of course change the data in each row. But just make sure you retain the recipient column because this is where you're going to have all the email addresses of your email recipients. The last column here, email sent, should be left blank. This is where the script will put the date and time of sending when your email is sent. Okay, so once your spreadsheet is ready, the next step is composing your email template. For this, go to Gmail, compose a new email, and put your email template there. I'll just go ahead and paste the template here and then enter your subject. I'll just say congrats. There's no need to enter any email address 
because the mail merge script is going to insert that from your spreadsheet. Now, once you've put the subject, copy it as you'll be needing it later to identify the composed email template. Now, go back to your spreadsheet and go to Mail Merge Send Emails. You'll be asked to authorize the script. Go ahead and do that. And then again, do the same Mail Merge Send Emails. You're asked to enter the subject of your email and here's where we paste the subject line that we had copied from our Gmail. So, paste this and click OK. As you can see, the script is running and it's done. You'll know the emails have been sent when you see the time and date of sending appear in the last column. Now let us see if the email went correctly. This is just a fake email address. I just activated it from a fake name and email address generator website. So, so here's the email that was received by one of those fake recipients. As you can see, the mail merge script entered all the information re related to Marianne Galvin. That is the award she got, the Technology Wiz Award, and the concession percentage, as well as the date. So that means our mail merge has been successful. So this was one way of performing a mail merge. Note that there are limitations set by Google on how many times you can run the script and how many emails you can send. There are other limitations as well. So another way to mail merge is using an add-on. So if you already know how to install an add-on in Google Sheets, it's extensions, add-ons, get add-ons. Okay, then look for mail merge. And as you can see, there are loads of add-ons available to help you perform a mail merge. Each one has a different range of features, so you can choose one that you like, that you think will suit your needs. And then, let's say I see to, to this one, just install it. Now each one has its own way of performing mail merge, so you'll just have to go through the instructions they give you and follow along. The third way is using a Google Chrome extension. So if you're using the Google Chrome browser, you can go to the Chrome Web Store, search for a mail merge extension, and just add to Chrome. As you can see, there are a number of extension options for mail merge too. So choose one that you like. I've used the GMAS and found it quite useful, but you know, it's totally up to you. So there it is. We went over three different ways to perform a mail merge in Google Sheets. For more information, you can read my article that I've linked in the description. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Click on the bell icon if you want to get notified about future videos like this. Thank you and have a nice day.